Hey guys, we're back, and today Anne is joining us. Today we're going to talk about why do Mandarin speakers always need subtitles when watching videos? So what are the pros and cons of using subtitles as a language learner? Yeah, we will wrap up this video with our recommendations about whether you should turn on subtitles and how to use them. Oh, by the way, do you know what is CC? CC stands for Closed Captioning. This is actually the system that was originally developed to help people who are hearing impaired. Closed captioning will often include little cues about non-spoken sounds too, like what kind of music or what kind of sound is in the environment or something. In practice, CC and subtitles are basically the same thing because it's going to subtitle all of the dialogue too, and so you can just treat them as the same. So this is one of the things that I've noticed about videos in Taiwan, and it has always kind of confused me that I didn't know why the subtitles were so prevalent, and often there would be those words popping up everywhere on the screen. I always figured, I mean, I like to watch my videos without subtitles. Why burn it into the video? Why not have the option to be able to turn off subtitles? So why, why is that? Yeah, so actually many speakers do speak many different dialogues. So when you say that you do speak Mandarin, um, actually you have to probably verify that what kind of Mandarin, Hakka, Minnan, Hokkien, so-called Taiwanese. Oh, that's the Dai, right? Yeah, that's right. So, Lia Gong Dai Yu. What Dai Yu and then, okay. So, my Taiwanese is not good. And of course, in Taiwan, we have the indigenous tribes, right? How many are there again? 16. 16, wow. And those are usually pretty individual languages, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also Cantonese. So, that would help people from different areas and different dialects be able to enjoy the videos together that they could all at least read even if they wouldn't be able to listen and follow everything that they mm -hmm. were saying. Yeah, or exactly. it might help them confirm what they are listening to or something like that. Yeah, exactly. So how do these different dialects all feel about each other? Uh, well, I know some people, they don't like people speaking Mandarin with Chinese accents. They actually hate it. That's a different situation when people hear Taiwanese accents. They will say, oh, wow, the girl sounds so charming or so gentle <laughs> when they speak Mandarin. Mm -hmm. They have really lovely accents. Mm. How about like Americans and Brits? Yeah, that's interesting because I think Brits like to tease Americans for how American English sounds, but Americans usually actually kind of admire or like British English, yeah. so they don't usually tease Brits, except for the kind of meme worthy where they say, a bottle of water. So, what do you want? A bottle of water. A bottle of water! But other than that, they don't really tease. The yeah, British it's so very similar to Chinese and Taiwanese views of each other's accents. Okay, so different dialects would be one reason to have subtitles. What other reasons are there? Um, I say habits of family interacting with each other. For example, in Taiwan, we probably don't have our own rooms if you have more siblings in family. If you want to watch your videos, you want to mute it, or if your parents are pretty strict, you probably want to watch videos in bed or, you know, with a book. <laughs> <laughs> so your phone inside of a book or yeah, something? Yeah, or some parents when they're spending time with their kids, they are also watching their own videos. So would they play the videos completely silent so and just read the subtitles, or would they play it with very low volume? It depends on your family habit, but I know a lot of people, they would do that. Or sometimes when you're at work or when you're in class, hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, then you definitely common. are playing any sound on your video. <laughs> so it's interesting that in American culture, I don't think that we really watch our videos completely silent. Actually, even though families might be watching different things in the same house or the same room, well, usually American houses are kind of bigger, so we don't really <laughs> conflict with each other. But also, I think we like a louder feeling. We might have the TV on with sound on while people are like talking with each other and another person might be watching another video. and. We'll have all of these sounds going on mm -hmm. uh, all together. Now, of course, that's going to vary from family to family. Others, we would just use earbuds or headphones mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, but another thing is that nobody for Western parents, they will knock on your door before they open your door, right? That's true, yeah. <laughs> for parents that do, you might have seen it in movies, then kids are always like, 
Mom, Dad, knock, please. <laughs> yeah, but that's not culture. Okay. No. <laughs> Another thing is that Chinese is always written efficiently. It would be easier to just read it. We call this text volume, and I don't mean volume by how loud it is. What I mean is volume by how much space it takes up. And if I remember correctly, Chinese is about a third less volume than English usually. So if you write the same amount of information. Chinese will actually take up about a third less space than the same thing written in English, so that would make it more short and condensed for subtitling. You might have to write more lines in English in order to subtitle everything. So just like if I read a Chinese book, it would be a lot faster than listening to something no in Chinese. No kidding. Wow. Maybe because like we also have the habit of reading very fast because you are trying to take written test. That's another thing that I thought was very interesting is how bookstores are still something you can find fairly easily in Taiwan, and I usually see people there. Whereas the level of popularity that bookstores have in America now is quite a lot less. You know what? They just think they think. Or pretend that they love books. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? we have a lot of like bookstore cafe in Taiwan, like uh, those kind of Japanese style bookstores, yeah. and you can go there work or go there to just have a date and have a cup of tea to、hmm. show that yeah, I love books, and also it's like a symbol of your wealth and your education background. So some people they do buy a lot of books. I do know what you mean about the cafes. I do like the cafes、yeah. and the bookstores. I mean, who doesn't like The kind of bookstore or library environment, yeah. So, what are the cons or the negatives of using subtitles when you watch videos? Well, the first that strikes me because it's the reason that I don't really like using them is that it draws your attention away from what is up above on the screen, right? Especially people's mouths or eyes. If you're watching someone, then you probably should also pay attention to their expression, and that's a really good practice as a language learner to be able to look at someone's face, of course, while you're listening to them. So I noticed that some students they're used to using subtitles when they're talking to people face to face. They don't know where to look,、oh. or they're looking for somewhere. <laughs> where is the subtitles? <laughs> <laughs> no, no subtitles in live interactions, right? And. It's difficult because we have subtitles on so many things now,、mm -hmm. like any online videos or even online meetings. We can even turn it on now, yeah, right? Thanks to AI, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I actually have some students that they they need a lot of time to speaking English, and in the beginning I will ask them, why do you need so much time? They say, oh, I'm trying to, you know, compose my sentence first. Because they actually want to maybe see the sentence written out in their mind,、mm -hmm. like they need to kind of visualize、yeah. before and correct the grammar first to make sure that they don't make any mistakes. Yeah, that's the strength of being Mandarin users because you are very strong visual learners. Hmm, I've wondered that because it seems with such a heavy focus on let's say memorizing characters and reading and writing things. Um, the visual ability is often very strong for students, right?、And、exactly.、Yeah. Actually,、um, for a lot of them, we found they ask to see a word written, right? If we teach a new word, they they can't get it just by listening, right? But it's like, oh, can I can I see what it looks like? Can you write that for me or something? Yeah, personally, that's also the way that I kind of learn English as well. So、mm -hmm. I I'm really good at spelling. <laughs> yeah. I even have native English speakers, supervisor, ask me how to spell some words. Literally, a native English. Speaker like me who's asking her how to spell the word. <laughs> yeah. So here's a reason why we don't burn subtitles into our videos or most of our videos. We want to give you the choice. We believe that subtitles are very distracting, right? That if you have them there, they just tend to take your eyes, right? It's really hard to push your eyes above and not pay attention to them, or at least it is for me. We want to give you the option that you have many different ways that you can listen to our videos and study English. You can choose using either English or Chinese subtitles. Try them in different orders, or turn them off completely. And I would say, whether to use subtitles or not, it depends on your personality and your willingness to take on challenges. Hmm. True. Also, how much time you have. That ideally you. Should listen to something that you're using to study English multiple times to try to improve your comprehension. But sometimes, if you only have that short amount of time, you can only watch the video once. 
then sure, you might want to use subtitles. Mm -hmm. But we have some recommendations of some options that you can try for which order to watch the video in if you do have more time to be able to watch it. Definitely, if you're a language learner and the video is a little bit hard for you to understand, you can probably try English subtitles first and then if you really want to check the meaning, you can either use Chinese subtitles or if you basically understand everything, you can probably just turn up the subtitles. Depends on your needs and your way of learning. Some people get so nervous when they can't understand maybe up to 90% of content, but some people feel totally comfortable to watch something while they only understand 50% of the content. Yeah, that's true. Some people are very comfortable with the unknown or uncertain <laughs> things, and that's a great skill if you have that while you are doing your listening practice. So if you are that kind of person or you're a little more advanced student, then we would recommend start with no subtitles then go to English subtitles, and then, if necessary, do Chinese subtitles. Exactly. Or if you just want to know what are we talking about, and you don't have much time, you just want to turn on Chinese subtitles, that's also okay. Don't feel bad about using that. All right, well, that's it for this topic. I hope you enjoyed that discussion, and we want to hear your thoughts. So here are a couple questions that you can leave as a comment. How do you like to watch videos? Do you rely on subtitles? Why or why not? Okay, well, thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then.